Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards and in this video I will be introducing the newest warlord to enter the game for the Tyranid faction and it is the Jackal Alphys and she has a pretty funky name there, I'm not going to try to say it but yeah, the important thing is she is 26 points making her the cheapest Tyranid warlord, has a decent ranged attack, gets plus 12 stats per upgrade and has a new trait. This is actually the only card in the game with the Deadshot trait, which is actually the exact same as Target Acquired, except it can target enemy warlords, making it much more powerful, actually. Her special rule benefits ranged units. Uh, the first time any of your Tyranids makes a ranged attack, it will deal an additional 75% damage. That is a very massive boost, and that can be further increased. It stacks with... Uh, your ranged bar if that has been charged up and also inspiring presence so you can deal a whole lot of damage it's a very aggressive special rule so it looks like it'll be fun to play as it's definitely a departure from the uh, special rules of the other Tyranid warlords that are already in the game there's the back of the card obviously she's riding a bike so very high initiative and this is the deck that I've built. I've just thrown in all of the big Tyranid ranged units. So we'll just go through one by one. The Exocrine, obviously, a very powerful one. Uh, very tough as well with the, the shields. We've got the Hive Crone, which has very high ranged and melee damage with Precision Shot. And the special rule of the Jackal Alphys does not actually affect Precision Shot. That doesn't count as an attack uh, for the purposes of this trait is the first normal attack it makes after precision shot. Now we've also got the Tyranid Warrior in here and this one for some reason despite the fact that this Tyranid Warrior is 11 points cheaper than the Hive Crone it actually has more health. Much less damage but a very tanky bodyguard. We got two barrage units the Biovore and the Hive Guard for some AoE damage. And then we got some representation for the Gene Stealer Colts, the Kelimorph with Target Acquired, and the Sanctus with Poison, and then finally the Gargoyle uh, with Endless. So let's go ahead and deploy and see the Jackal Alphys in action. And it sounds like we are up against Space Marines. And it's Lieutenant Tolmeron that we will be facing. So another ranged warlord. Be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, they do have the initiative, so they will be taking that first turn. Now let's put down the Hive Crone, just put out some of the stronger units here. And I wonder actually if they will go ranged. So, let's see. I think we're going to put down put down the hive guard over there. So the thing about the jackal alphys and its special rule is that the damage it only happens once per card. Obviously, it's only the very first attack and that can happen either on your turn or your opponent's turn. So, uh, in this case, if the enemy Tomaron goes first, then that means uh, we will be using up that uh, bonus attack. Putting the Kelimorph in the center to use target acquired on that Hellblaster, we'll see what they decide to go for. I'm guessing they'll just go ranged. They've got a pretty good amount of ranged on the field, but we should be able, if they do, we will definitely be counterattacking for massive damage. And they are going for the ranged attack, so this will be fun to watch. Pretty good damage on their side, almost taken down the Kelimorph, that was close. But the damage from the Hive Crone increased, blasting away the Hell Blaster in one shot. And here we go, 38 damage getting increased to 67. So it is a very significant boost. Now, of course, now that we've used that up, uh, this next turn we're going to be dealing a lot less damage. And actually, the Kelimorph is going to get sniped by that Tactical Marine in the center. He's going to be shooting that thing down. So we're attacking with one less unit this turn. Uh, that's not looking so great. So we're just going to go for the melee attack, charge up our ranged a little bit, and then 
hit them back next turn. Of course, they'll probably be going ranged. So whatever I put down next, uh, it's going to be dealing the bonus damage, most likely. We'll just put the Biovore down and see how that works out. Put the Barrage unit in the center. And you can see the little animation there with the silhouettes. And the little pink ring around the damage icon indicating that that unit will be dealing bonus damage. Alright, so 44 damage getting increased to 77 and the splash damage is also increased there. So that was a pretty good hit there. Quite a bit of damage. I think we'll just keep the Biovore in the center lane and go with the Sanctus. I think this might be a little bit of an overkill here since we do have a charged up attack, but we're going to go ranged. I think that's a smart thing to do just to make sure that we kill everything here. I think that barrage is going to do the trick from the Biovore. Alright, blowing up all three marines with one barrage. That was fun. And now the enemy warlord will deploy along with the final two bodyguards. Got an eradicator and the storm talon gunship with the outflank. So the outflank is reducing the damage of my next ranged attack which is actually kind of a good counter to the jackal alphas because that means that uh, the next if I decide to attack with the reduced damage, it's going to also reduce the effect of the um, the bonus damage from the special rule. So, uh, at this point, uh, we're going to throw down the Exocrine, but just to show you the power of the Jackal Alphys and its, uh, its trait, we're going to throw down the Warlord here. Now, normally... Well, actually, we, we could have won anyway with the Biovore and the uh, Exocrine attacking. But, just to show you, the dead shot here. We are targeting the Warlord with everything on the field. So, he's only at 83 health, but even if he had more health, the Exocrine is getting the bonus damage from the Ambush Specialist, as is uh, the Jackal Alphys herself. Uh, the Biovore isn't getting the bonus, but... Uh, also, because it's target, it's basically target acquired, it's dealing additional like 10% as well. So that's just a massive amount of damage. 130, that's... Uh, I can't really do the math in my head, but that's probably well over 200 damage. Definitely over 200 damage that we'd be dealing there. So let's go ahead and attack. I think the Exocrine will just take it out in one hit, so... Yeah, Jackal Alpha is very good at sniping enemy warlords, especially if you have some strong bodyguards deploying towards the end of the game. It looks like a pretty fun warlord to play as. Definitely, uh, the playstyle is more my style. I, I like the more aggressive warlords that can, you know, hit hard and fast and and end the game quickly, which uh, unfortunately many of the Tyranid warlords have a more slower uh, slow play style, so I think uh, this Jackal Alphas might actually be my new favorite Tyranid Warlord. So, let me know what you think of this one. Uh, I know some of the the newer Warlords that were released recently, the the Psychomancer for the Necrons, and then the, the Mask for Chaos were not too popular. Uh, they had kind of situational special rules that were a little bit tricky to use and definitely limited the type of bodyguards you'd use. Uh, of course, the Jackal Alphas also limits your your uh, bodyguard selection mainly to ranged units. Uh, but it does seem like it'll be a pretty good addition to the Tyranid roster. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.